Pete here and I'm back for another weekly Franston tournament. But before I jump in, I just wanted to thank everyone because uh, I've just cracked 10,000 YouTube subscribers. So big thanks to everyone out there subscribing. I do have a few sort of special events planned coming up soon. Um, and for anyone that wants to subscribe, what you can do is open this up in YouTube. You can create an account. It's completely free. Find one of my videos and then there'll be a subscribe button sort of down in that sort of area. Anyway, uh, let's jump in and I'll show you how to get in. You want to click Solitaire, then Weekly Free Instant Tournament, and then we'll give it a shot. Okay, so we've got a balanced 19 count. Partner opened a week two in diamonds. So I got enough points for game. The question is, do I want to bid anything more? So uh, what do we need to make slam in diamonds? Let's say partner has king, queen to six diamonds. King of hearts, singleton spade. We still don't have enough, so uh, pretty easy three no trumps, I think. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for coming in. All right. Uh, so heart lead, uh, looks like we've got six diamond tricks if they're not four nil, two clubs is eight, a heart and a spade is 10. Hi Compunets, thanks for coming in. Hi Chuck71. First time I'm catching you live, been watching on YouTube for a while now. Thanks for making it in here. For anyone that does want to watch live, the way you can find me is on twitch.tv forward slash Peter Hollands and I play this uh, at 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Time. So you can work out how it uh, works for you. Hi, David. Thanks for coming in. Um, right. So I want to see if I can sort of play, make any extras. So, um, my clubs could come in if there's like a singleton queen of clubs or singleton jack with west and I want to finesse. I could just get four easy tricks if there's queen jack doubleton. Um, don't think I need all of them. So let, let's just assume that my clubs come in. That's all but one. I, th I think I can duck this just to see if the opponents switch. I meant to pitch a club here. All right, um, I don't think I need all of those clubs. Okay, so king of hearts, heart to the jack. So West has some good hearts here. Uh, let's start with a club and we don't see one of the uh, queen jack there. I'm just gonna unblock it anyway. Could be queen jack doubleton still there. Anyway, uh, let's see what's happening in diamonds. They're not 4-0. Okay. So do I want to cash all my diamonds? I don't see why not. So... Heart discard. And I just want to keep his man Ooh, club discard over there. Oh, Queen Jack Dalton. Beautiful. So I've got the rest of the tricks here. So making plus three. 68%. Uh, the winning score was actually six diamonds. Someone did make a uh, plus, plus four. So I'll have a look at that. Uh, but uh, a couple of people only made 11 tricks, and my guess is just that they ducked uh, two rounds of hearts. So, oh, no. Didn't duck two rounds of hearts. Maybe they just didn't play for uh, Queen Jack Doubleton. Okay, I would have assumed that people would have ducked two rounds of hearts and three no trumps, and that's how they might have lost it. Um, but one of the important things when considering how long you want to duck for, you want to count how many winners you've got and what sort of chance of extra winners that you can get. So even in really unlikely events, but Queen Jack Dalton, I had can only afford to duck one. Um, I was going to look at how you made, someone made all of them. So they clearly won the first trick and ran the diamonds and probably the clubs 
I'm curious to see if the heart's the winner or the extra spade. That's the only club they can discard. Hey, their heart became a winner. Okay, cool. Moving on to board number two. And here we've got 16 points, balanced hand, so one no trump. Um, right. We have three spade winners and a diamond. I can get extra tricks in all of the suits. The heart laid looks like West has ace, king of hearts. I want to care who's got the jack of hearts. If we look at the bidding, uh, East is a past hand to there. They don't have 12 points. We've got the points are 20, 20. Um, I can see if spades are 3-3. Three, three. I can see if I can get a heart trick. I might get a club trick if they play on them. And diamonds, I can double finesse. So heart lead. And they switched. All right, so I've only got one entry to that north hand. So I'm not totally sure what I want to use it for. Probably a diamond finesse. Um, I could go like queen of spades, spade to the ace, see if they split. If they don't, then I uh, just finesse a diamond. And if that loses, maybe I just get no more tricks. Uh, so that seems ominous. Um, maybe I could just do something like duck a diamond. Gives up a few chances in diamonds, but I've got better chances of getting three diamond tricks. And if I do that, then maybe I get three spades, three diamonds, and a heart or a club. The issue being is they might just win and I'll have to find a couple of discards here in hearts. Um, as a side point, spade and they put in the nine. I was missing jack 10, nine, eight, seven. If East had all of them, usually they'd put in the seven there. So maybe spades are three, three. So let's just go and jack seven. I think they are three, three. Okay. I've got a winner here. I don't really want to discard anything from my hand, um, but maybe I'll discard a diamond and I'll let the bit go. All right, so West shifted to a passive di uh, spade rather. Well, it wasn't even that passive. Um, but I could play a diamond to the queen or a diamond to the nine. I'm very worried that they play like clubs, hearts through, so I will finesse here. Uh, the queen rather than the nine. Yeah, and I got this winning diamond, but I can't get there. Uh, what did they discard? They discarded a club. Uh, West is really trying to work out how to get east on lead, and the answer is actually with clubs. Um, I'll see it. I'll exit a club here, but East can only get in once, I think, to lead through. So they'll lead through, and I just have to hope that my Queen of Clubs comes good, but I doubt it. Yeah, they've got too many winners. And I suspect this one won't be a great board, but I don't know what as such I could have done better. 57%. A couple of people did manage to make it. But most people down one, a few people down two and three. There's a lot of value in trying to minimize how much you go down. Often people, when they realize they're going down, sort of bend the hand and move on. But you really want to put your effort in to minimize down ones a lot better than down two or three, especially at match points. So here I can make a support double. Okay, um, I have described so much about my hand and my partner's not interested. Um, so we'll leave it there. I'm not even sure I want to lead a spade here. Um, so I might just lead a passive diamond. 
The robot's just laid low from three. Okay, so what do we know here? Low diamond to the 10 and king. So my partner might have queen jack 10. Uh, we don't have a heart fit, so East has three hearts. We don't have a spade fit, most likely, so I think East has four spades. We don't have... So East, I think, is a uh, four, three, one, five with singleton queen of diamonds. Um... I think I'll just get on lead and lead the queen of hearts here. They can take the king, but they can't really discard much anyway. So they get one discard on the ace of diamonds here. But I that's like a heart I couldn't get to quickly anyway, unless I started with hearts. Oh, wow. Yeah, I regret taking my king. Okay. Uh, so East has like Ace Jack 10 of spades. I feel like they're going to do a little bit of cross roughing. They can rough one spade before I can start over roughing. They can rough the heart, they can rough the diamond. May as well set it up so that I can at least rough something. My partner would get over roughed in hearts. in here and oh three clubs to three and i actually got 64 percent for that felt like i had great chances of trying to beat it someone did let's take a look they started with the ace of hearts continue to heart so that defense would have worked really well for the opponents. Uh, really well because uh, you get the hearts before they can actually get rid of one. Without that lead, I um, doubt you can beat it. Yeah, so you had to start with a heart to beat that. I, a heart lead wasn't standing out to me. Serial clergyman. I passed instead of doing a support double and partner bid three diamonds for minus two and 80%. That's kind of weird. So I think your partner is like, well, you don't have three spades. You didn't rebid two hearts. Your partner, uh, you've got like, they, they think you've got two spades because you haven't made a support double. They think you've got five hearts because you didn't bid two hearts. They think you've got two clubs because the opponents have a fit. So they, by the power of deduction, can work out that you have four diamonds. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Weird way to get 80, uh, well, nearly 90%. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like a really off the wall bid, but your partner is really good at counting. And because you don't make a support double, they're like, hey, we have a diamond fit. Uh, here I've got a six, four shape with 11 points. So we're playing two over one. Question is, do I want to game four? So I could bid two diamonds, but six, four is really, really good. I like six, fours if we find a fit, but I already opened one heart. I'm gonna go low and just Two hearts, Michaels. Two no trumps, show your second suit. I think I can double just to say I've got values. I'm interested in trying to penalize. That's not what I wanted to see. Whoa, okay. All right, <laughs> this one's just gone off the rails. Um, just doubling. <laughs> I had this like nervous, what if my partner bids again double? Okay, so uh, this is good. We've got a cross rough on. If I can get my partner to um, play a heart, um, usually you'd give a suit preference. So nine clubs should say, hey, I like 
Um, please return a heart. I don't think the robots pay too much attention to that, but I will do it anyway. So when you know that your partner, um, your partner's out of the suit, you can do suit preference. Ace of diamonds. Good news. We're beating this one. So my partner had one club, one spade, uh, six hearts and four diamonds. That doesn't add up. One heart. So they had one club, I know that. They had one spade. Uh, diamonds, there's three there. I had six. So that's four. So my partner had seven hearts. Okay. Wasn't too relevant for me to actually work that out, but um, yeah. There goes our heart trick. And I'm just going to get two tricks here. So I'll claim as soon as I can get in. There we go. Oh. Okay, it'll still only let me concede. All right, now you can have the rest. 89%. So this would be a good one if we manage to uh, use suit preference here, and then my partner would know to try taking the ace of hearts. It's still hard for them to tell because I would probably signal hearts with a singleton heart and uh, five diamonds. Um, so awkward for them to actually work out what's going on there. Um, but lots of people in five diamonds. So if you start with two diamonds, your partner supports you. Um, like I think bidding two diamonds is completely reasonable on this hand. I was very close to game forcing. At match points, I thought that with the heart void, I wanted to take it a little bit slower just because it seemed a bit of a misfit. You can uh, make this one though, if uh, you knew where all the cards are. But uh, I'll take my 90% uh, there. Moving on to board number five, and here we've got a flat 15. Okay, we got a heart fit. My partner's got seven points, so the opponents have 18. Uh, the six clubs lead could be from ace king, but hopefully it's just away from the jack. I can play low. I can try finessing in spades. Maybe my king, queen, and diamonds will get come good. Maybe the heart finesse works. Okay, so it looks like West actually has king, jack, fourth club. And they're shifting to a diamond. Okay, so king, jack, fourth or fifth club. Uh, the ace of diamonds. Okay, two of spades. Um, I could take this opportunity to finesse the heart. It is into the danger hand, but I still want extra tricks. Um, and West had five clubs, and not sure how many more points they can have. And they didn't cover the queen. I was thinking maybe I should uh, go up. I'm just unblock my queen of spades, give them a chance to um, still finesse spades if I want to. Okay, Not all offside. I haven't seen the ten of diamonds, so we'll play a spade. And that was onside. 71%. I, I feel like I'm doing slightly not great things, but all of these boards are coming up above average, which is nice. Uh, some people got to two hearts, just opening a diamond, I guess. Uh, one no trump seemed fair. Um, yeah, like I, I might have been able to do something better, but not anything particularly great. 
Diamond Shift was a bit interesting by the East player rather than just continuing clubs, but that's like their only opportunity to get in. So if I thought about why did they shift to Diamonds when they clearly didn't like them that much, uh, probably highlights that their hand was really weak. Anyway, currently we're at 70%, but also in rank two. Uh, right, uh, here we've got 14 points, one, three, three, six, so club, and I'll just pass. Kind of want to compete to three clubs, but um, okay, partner should have six spades here. Okay. Happy to defend. Like uh, bidding three clubs would have shown a better hand than what I did. So, oh wow, <laughs> spades. Uh, good thing we weren't in two spades. I'm surprised East didn't try and double two spades for penalties there. Anyway, it looks like spades are one one six five. Uh, hearts. Well, the club lead looks like top of a doubletons or a singleton. So West has three or four clubs, five or six hearts, singleton spade. Okay, so clubs are three two two six. Yeah, my partner had seven spades. Right. Um, so I'm going to get over roughed, but I want to rough high enough that it makes it awkward for them. That they want to over rough, not so much that they're willing to uh, just discard them. Anyway, uh, they had zero spades. So my partner had seven spades and two clubs and two diamonds, probably two hearts. I'm just going to uh, cash my diamonds. Yeah, and we've got all of the tricks we can outside of uh, the trump suit. So here I'm going to give them a rough and discard. It might make it awkward for my partner. Uh, not awkward for my partner, awkward for Declarer. And I've got the rest. Eighty-five percent. Again, nothing particularly special about it. Okay, so if you bid three clubs on this hand, uh, like as I said, I didn't really want to play. Like I, I didn't want to let them play in two hearts. But I feel like partner knows that, and they will actually uh, double um, or try and compete a lot of the time. Three clubs here. If you look at the description, uh, sh the robots at least play. There's a better hand than. This. I'm not sure this is necessarily like a great way to play. I think trying to have hands that you can com compete uh, is quite useful. Um, there are some conventions about which might able to help you to have like strong hands with clubs or weak hands with clubs here. The robots don't play that. But given that, I think if it was going to go two hearts, pass, pass, I think my partner's going to bid nearly all the time. They've got a shortage in hearts. So that's why I didn't feel the uh, pressure to bid through three clubs or at least succumb to the pressure there but i don't think three clubs is a bad bit obviously it works out poorly when you get doubled in uh, three spades there x71 i accidentally bid two no trumps on this one while looking at the bid descriptions and went down five for 86 percent as well <laughs> minus 250 i like it <laughs> all right uh Moving on to board number seven. So here we have 15 points and a six card diamond suit. Looks like a one diamond, two diamond bid. Uh, I could consider like making a two heart raise uh, just because it's hard to find a heart fit if I bid two diamonds. I actually don't mind that here. I don't really want to play two diamonds. I'll bid two hearts, but uh, so this is just a long suit trial. Uh, even though I've lied about one of my hearts, I definitely should be accepting on this. Once you've made a choice, you want to commit to it. Um, so I've definitely got a maximum. So I could bid uh, like maybe three no trumps or something. But that's a bit weird. 
I could bid three diamonds saying, hey, I've got good diamonds. I'm just going to go ahead and bid uh, four hearts. I could consider three diamonds. That's probably the next best bid. Okay. And like, if you can see this hand, I think it would be really awkward for partner to work out what to do over a diamond, a heart, two diamonds. Do they bid again? Do they just pass two diamonds? Do they bid three clubs? I've got like a good hand, like this really awkward range. When I actually show a fit, their hand is significantly better. That being said, that king of clubs lead is an absolute killer. Um, I got a spade loser, a diamond loser, and two club losers. So I need to be able to throw all the clubs away. Hmm. Without that, like I have ample tricks for four hearts. Uh, the club lead is a nightmare for me. Um, I could duck this, hoping clubs are three two, and then that the hand with two clubs has both the missing aces. I could uh, just win and hope that clubs are four one, and the same sort of principles happening. I could. Like the main issue with ducking is if clubs are four one and my ace gets roughed, then I'm doing really poorly on the end. I think I'll go ahead and win um, and just play a diamond. That's good news. Now I'm down to one club loser, one diamond, and one heart. Okay, singleton honor. Great news. Do I want to play for hearts four one? Like I'm using my last entry to the south hand, but I don't think it's too bad. I don't think I could have done anything with it. And they had Jack Doubleton and they unblocked. Had found the killing lead and then they unblocked for their partner. This one should be a good board. Um, yeah. 89%. Lots of people in two diamonds. Like, as I said, I think getting to four hearts is completely reasonable on this because if they don't lead a club, you have a really, really easy time making uh, 10 tricks here. Just knock out the ace of diamonds and go from there. Um, and it's really awkward for partner and like that's with like stiff queen stiff queen move that queen of spades in to be like the club jack then game's really really good and it's awkward to find these five three heart fits so with three card support and an unbalanced hand not one that can rebid one no trump um i sometimes consider making a three card raise rather than just bidding my suit again or if i had a five four shape bidding the other one with minimum hands because it can be pretty awkward there um, moving on to the final board. We're running at 75%. And one heart, two heart, Michaels. And this looks like I've got enough points for three no trumps. We've got eight, 14 points. We don't have a spade fit. I've got really good heart stoppers. Uh, what about if my partner has uh, five diamonds? Do I want to play in diamonds instead? Maybe. I don't think I'd ever be bidding six diamonds, so let's just go ahead and bid three no trumps. Yeah, go ahead and bid five clubs. Okay. I got a spade loser and a couple of club losers. I got a few more spade losers I have to work on here. Uh, West opened the bidding. Things that I have to deal with. Uh, firstly, I have to work out who I think's got the jack of clubs. Um, and I also need to think, uh, what am I going to do with these long spades? I think I need to rough some of these spades and lead a spade up. So I might start with that. 
That being said, if West just keeps leading uh, hearts, life gets pretty awkward for me. Interesting. All right. Um, all right. So dummy had seven points and I had uh, 14. That's 21. That's 19 points missing. West opened the bidding. East had the ace of spades. So it might be 12 and 7. But like that's it. Um, so East can have three more points. Ah. Uh... Okay, I need to, I let a low spade and it went 10 king eight. So West could have like jack 10 third. I can only afford to rough one. I know West has the ace of clubs. Do they have ace jack third or ace doubleton? Um, I think I want to hope for them to have ace doubleton because ace jack third gives East a singleton club and a doubleton heart. Stack of cards and did. So if that's the case. All right, we're going down. Down a couple. All right, so five clubs down to probably like 20%. 50%, wow. I guess everyone was doing something similar. I thought that like not everyone would be bidding three no trumps and therefore not getting put into five clubs. Um, some people might have been passing four clubs or something, but yeah. Can I do any better on that hand? Down one was the best that I could do. So if I found the Jack of Clubs, like I, one of my concerns was West, like if East has the Jack of Clubs, they might get a Trump promotion with like West rising with the Ace of Clubs and playing another heart. But when they didn't do that, I was thinking that uh, maybe West has the Jack of Clubs. But the reason that they can't necessarily do that is I could just rough high and throw a Trump. Uh, it wasn't something that they could always do. Anyway, uh, finished with like nearly 72%. So that all went really, really well. Uh, none of these particularly stood out to me as anything special I did. In fact, I thought most of them were going to be a bit of a sort of below average boards, but lots of them crept into average or above. So a bit of a surprising week this week. Um, but uh, I was definitely on the right side of a few decisions, like board four, I think this is pretty close between two diamonds game force and one no trump the reason i went for one no trump is it seemed like we had a bit of a misfit with partner opening one heart uh that being said with a minor suit fit this hand could be. and then uh board six here i was on the right side of do i bid three clubs or not so again i thought this one was pretty close and i think i don't want to be playing in three clubs uh sorry i don't want to let the opponents play in three hearts being in three clubs is decent, but my thoughts were, I can't imagine partner actually passing this out. So that's why I chose not to bid there. And it stops you getting doubled in three spades. Uh, so a few really, really interesting ones um, and ended up with 70, almost 72%. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament. And a big shout out to all my subscribers. I'm stoked to uh, get to 10,000 and I've got a few uh, good things coming in the plans, in the pipelines. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.